Hey guys. So just this week we got a book pre-order coming up um, and been pretty busy with a couple other releases so I didn't get a chance to do um, continue on with the Northwest Metal and Hard Rock Band's focus from Rusted Metal. Um, S is going to be next. It's going to be a two-part or so. It should be in the next week probably or so. I'll do start those. Um, but like I said, a couple new releases. We got the Volume 3 comp LPs out. Been shipping, fulfilled all those for anybody who ordered one so far. This is a clear vinyl one. 100 only of these. We only got about 20 left, so they're almost gone at this point. Um, we also have black vinyl. We still have some CDs too. Um, just got the lipstick CD in hand which came out really good. Um, just also got some test pressings for that. Uh, vinyl should be um, ready in October if all goes well. We're waiting on some labels um, for them. And then I think we're in the queue, as they say. Um, and then, as I mentioned, we're going to have a book pre-order. That is for the Metal Church book that we posted about uh, a little while back. Um, looking at September... 15th for pre-orders i'm just trying to get things set up and all that but i think we're looking pretty good for for that which i believe is next friday um if you hang around till the end of this short little weekly podcast you can see a picture um, i didn't print it out but i will post it at the end of this so book cover we have it um books in design phase right now we have a text layout we're uh, working with a designer on inputting the images so that should be going to the printers ASAP. Uh, we usually would try not to drop pre-orders now until they're in production, so we don't have to you guys waiting too long there. So um, just a couple other things I wanted to mention is some new releases for Northwest Metal and Hard Rock stuff that I think are pretty cool. Um, the Metal Church guys reform with a new singer or have a new singer, whatever you want to say. Um, they have a, a new album, Congregation of Annihilation. There's a CD and there's a colored vinyl LP. Um, we had some of both for sale. We still have some CDs for sale on our website, northwestmetalworks.com website. Sold out the records already, but you, I believe Brat Pack still has them uh, or other places you might be able to find them. I got a couple cool little extra promo photos with mine. Um, so, and it's really good. It's really, really good. Uh, Mark Jacobs is the new singer. Uh, same lineup, except for the singer is Mark um, Jacobs. He's from Ross the Boss, the Manowar guitar solo band. Sounds a, a lot like Dave Wayne. <laughs> Definitely much more aggressive um, uh, back in that sort of style. And I guess they're doing a lot of the earlier stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing them actually in Bremerton at the end of this month. We're going to be at that show, Brian, my label partner, Brian Aaron, and I are going to it. And then there's they're playing with the Coven guys down in Portland, too, for you guys down there at Boston Nova. So go check that out. Um, so that's really great. I encourage you to pick it up from us or whoever. Um, support your local labels and what our stores and whatnot. Um, also, Fifth Angel has a great new record, too, with the new singer, Steve Carlson. Um, so uh, Steve was the guy who stepped in for the touring band, um, goes back into the Northwest scene um, as actually a drummer for Ali Brat. And I think he sang for um, Red Axe as well. Uh, definitely he was in there in a little bit later incarnation of those guys. Um, uh, it's really good. Um, Ken, same lineup as last time for drums and bass was Ken Mary and John Mako, uh, Ed Archer on guitar, and then they've got another guy named Steve Conley on guitar, um, I believe is the other guy. Um, this is a few months older, but I just want to give a shout out. This is our uh, engineer. We work a lot with Tony Reed. This is his main band, Moss Generator. He has a Stone Axe and um, a few other bands and projects um hot spring waters and other just saw him play live with those guys are really really good records are good too but this is the latest moss generator record really super super killer um definitely you know we started out more as kind of a sabbathy sort of stoner rock type of band for the first couple moss records and then um uh, by late great planet earth which is getting um 
Tony said is going to get a for uh, an anniversary edition um, in 2025. I think it's 20th anniversary. Um, that's going to be a special box set kind of thing. So that's pretty cool. But but that record was a uh, is a um, a concept album and has a lot of elements of like Pink Floyd and King Crimson. So there's a lot of prog elements too, along with the metal and kind of doomy stoner type rock is pretty unique stuff it's definitely really cool really great band live um he's been playing with the two original guys scooter and sean johnson um recently we saw him do a lot of early stuff um at a show not too many months back um and then a couple other things where we just got a couple new books in um steve turner's bio uh, mud honey guitarist and green river guitarist um adam templeton um Tepidellen. <laughs> Sorry, Adam, if I produce your name, pronounce your name wrong. I interviewed for Rusted Metal, works, writes for Decibel magazines, done other books and stuff. He wrote the book with Steve, worked with him on it. Um, and then Brian Slagle from Metal Blade Records has another book out, Swing of the Blade. Uh, really good. I'd recommend the first one a lot too. Does talk about Metal Church and Heretic and some Northwest bands that he'd worked with. Um, in the past, of course, he also put out records by Panic and Bitter End and Malice and um, compilation tracks from various Northwest metal bands over the years on the Metal Massacre comp. So Brian's always had some love for the Northwest guys, too. Um, and so, yeah, I'd recommend it. It's a lot of fun reads talking about his relationships with different bands, kind of expands more on just things he touched on in the last one. Um, but yeah. Of course, Metal Blade being, you know, Metal Blade along with Megaforce and and Combat were a big influence on on us for Northwest Metalworks um, as far as, you know, an indie label. And and Brian's definitely one of the guys that's done it right, still around. You know, Metal Blade, of course, is a big powerhouse now. So props to him. Um and yeah, so that's what I got for this week. Not a lot. I just thought I'd give a shout out on some new releases um, that are good to check out. Like I said, uh, Letter S, it'll probably be a two-parter. There's a lot of bands for that one. Um, so hope to have that up next week, but also um, looking to have the Metal Church bio pre-order drop. So it might be a little busy as it's kind of primarily a one-man <laughs> operation, <laughs> if a lot of you guys know, so. So there you go. Uh, some cool stuff coming. Thanks, everybody who supported us and picked up our releases. We always appreciate it. Picked up other people's releases from us. Uh, just trying to get the Northwest metal and hard rock word around to everybody. So, all right, we'll see you next time.